All right, what we're going to do today is we're going to find the volume of a light bulb with geometry sketchpad and a wee bit of calculus. All right, the cheater's way of actually doing it would be probably just take the light bulb and dunk it in a graduated cylinder full of water, measuring how much water is displaced. You could do that, but we're going to do it using math. And here's my sketchpad file. Everything is basically already done. I'm just going to kind of walk you through what I already did just to save some time. The very first thing we need to do is actually get a picture of a 60 watt bulb and import it in the sketch pad. So that's what I did here and I lined it up so that the glass part touches the Y axis and it's centered on the X axis because what we're going to do is we're going to make use of the disk method. It's something that's usually done during the beginning like calc 2 or the end of calc 1. And in order to do that we're going to need to model the contour of our light bulb and here you see I've got two functions that do it this first one's just a plain old parabola I made a three sliders up here each of those control the three coefficients in the quadratic equation and what you do you just mess around with that until that quadratic pretty much models that, that first half of our light bulb and then the second part is looks basically like a circle so I, I'm not only worried about the top half here. Again, three sliders, H and K, that that controls the center of our circle and R is the radius. Mess around with those until you get something that's pretty darn close. So if you look between here and here, between X is zero, equals zero and X equals three, the parabola models that pretty neat, decently. And between X equals three and X equals six, this circle works pretty well. Okay, so once you got that, now this is where the calculus part comes in. We want to basically find the area under the curve between these two spots. But using that disk method, remember we're gonna we gotta square the function plus multiply it by pi, and then integrate that. And we're going between zero and three. Same deal here. Square the function between here and here. Multiply it by pi and integrate it. Now. I'm not going to show you how to integrate both things. You can do it the long way on pe pencil and paper or whatever, or have some kind of software package like Maple or if you're, TI 89 calculators, they integrate for you. So that's what I did. I integrated both of them. So th the first one is over here on the left. Second one I put over here on the right. And then when you be go between 0 and 3 so we're finding basically this part this answer here is the volume of our light bulb from the metal part to this spot right here that's 921 over 125 pi in my case and to get the rest of the light bulb between x equals 3 and x equals 6 the volume is 1803 over 500 pi and then you just combine the two that gets our total volume and in this case we get approximately 34.38 cubic units. Now it might be interesting to know what the actual volume of a real life size light bulb is. So what I did I just more or less I measured took a regular old 60 watt bulb with a ruler measured it from here to all the way to the other tip and then I compared it to that because if you look here this light bulb is 8 units long and a regular old light bulb is roughly three and a quarter inches long. So if we compared units, this thing is 1.88 times as, as big as a regular old light bulb. So when we mess with the volumes, remember, <clears throat> we're going to have to divide this volume here, this 34.38 cubic units, by 1.88 cubed. So what we end up getting is approximately what a volume of a 60 watt bulb is about 5.15 cubic inches. And that's it.